Hi, this is Ellen from the Chili Dog, and today I would like to teach you how to do the twisted cable rib that I'm using in the leg here of my azalea socks. A twisted cable rib is just a little variation on basic 2x2 two two ribbing. So the majority of the pattern is just like 2x2 two two ribbing where you would knit 2, purl 2, knit 2, purl 2, knit 2, purl 2 across or around whatever you're making. The difference is that every fourth row or around, you add this little twist in the two knit stitches. And the good news is it's really easy to do. You don't need a cable needle or anything. And it just helps dress up your ribbing a little bit and make it a little bit prettier. So let me grab my needles and my yarn and show you how it's done. As you can see, I have already started working my sock cuff and I have a few rounds of the pattern already done. And as I said, most of it looks just like two by two ribbing, where you would knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. And in fact, the wrong side of my work looks identical to two by two ribbing. You can't see the twists at all. To make the twists, every fourth row, Whenever you get to a pair of the two knit stitches, you're gonna do something just a little bit different to twist those two stitches. So the way it works is you get to your two knit stitches, you're going to knit those two stitches together, but don't drop them off your left needle quite yet. Instead, what you need to do is you need to knit one more time just into the first of the two knit stitches. And then you can drop them off your needle and that causes the two stitches to twist. So then you would continue on. The purl stitches in the pattern are the same as normal in the two by two rib. You don't do any sort of twisting or anything. And then when you get to those two knit stitches, Again, you're just going to knit the two stitches together. Don't drop them off the needle yet. Instead, you're going to go back and knit just into the first of the two stitches. And then drop both off your left needle. And then you would continue around or in rows across your work. And it's really important if you are working this in rows instead of rounds, that you want to make the twists on a right side row. Otherwise, they're not going to be seen. As I said before, the wrong side of your work looks just like two by two ribbing. There is no twists on the wrong side. So make sure that you're doing your twisting on the right side of your work. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do the twisted cable rib. And if you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel on YouTube so that you don't miss any of my weekly episodes showing new stitches and knitting techniques. Until next time, happy knitting!